All right. Hey, what it is, what it is. Welcome to another episode of Enter the Far Plane. We are on Enter the Far Plane number nine. Um, apologies on nothing last week, but you know, Thanksgiving and stuff. So uh, it is what it is. This guy. So uh, we got uh, we got good old um, freaking Clake over here. Go ahead and say hi, brother. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I do want to say it's Tech Maki's birthday today. So, <laughs> it is. It all. is. And um, I'm actually tech. I'm actually pretty happy about the birthday, man. Got this cool shirt, man. Uh, the wife went. What and the hell's got some, your logo uh, on it? Yeah, man. My wife went and got me some uh, Maki gaming channel stuff. Yeah. That's cool. Isn't it? And we got a couple That's more so designs, cool. you, actually. You. I. Oh, <laughs> Did she get me one? Um, we can definitely get you one, homie. We can I definitely want one. Get you one. Yeah, but anyway, uh, but yeah. So as 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 we instead of talking about the shirt, that's Clake, our first host on the left. I am Tech Maki, the host on the right, and uh, we are talking about all types of good stuff today. It's been a it's been a great two weeks, so I'm excited. But uh, Clake, if you want to go ahead and start off with uh last week's stuff okay so yeah it's actually weird because i didn't know this banner was lasting two weeks i thought it was gone so it kind of mm -hmm. works that we're going to talk about it right now mm -hmm. um we got the final fantasy 5 you know event banner put together and we we got an okay banner in my opinion one of the better ones we've had in a while uh giving us ferris who pretty much is useful because of full break right and then they mm -hmm. gave us X Death six star upgrade and Bart six star upgrade. They were also even on the banner, so if you didn't have those, you could get those. X Death being the best mage of the game for a while, and so we get a couple other characters. And then Bart's being okay. You know, he's got his uses. There are things he could do. He does uh, some uh, physical damage, some magic damage. And then we have Gilgamesh, which, for people who have dual wield and a bunch of TMs, Gilgamesh become OP OP. So mm -hmm. it was pretty nice. Um, I say overall the banner was pretty good. The event itself. Um, it, it was a lot of trolling stuff going in at Tech because Excalibur. How many times have you been asked, what does Excalibur do? On your yeah, a lot, man, a lot, along with who's Greg. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um... With who's Greg, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, who's Greg, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, the Excalibur thing has definitely been a big question for some people. Um, I know a lot of people were trying to say that it was going to be a uh, currency, which, um... I don't know. I don't think it's going to, but who knows? Maybe mm -hmm. Gummy will make a use for it later on. But as far as I know, Excalibur, I mean, it was just a joke weapon. That's right. That's what Gilgamesh got shit on way back in the day, and that's what he got. You know what I mean? I mean, it is, it is like, is it his victory stance where he's stomping on a sword? Isn't that Excalibur yeah. he's stomping on? That's, uh, yeah, it's Excalibur that he's stomping on because yeah. he thought it was Excalibur. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, it is what it is. Um,. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people ask that, man. And then, of course, it was the Greg thing, which we're not going to go over again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I like the last banner. Um, I thought last week's banner was pretty damn good. Gilgamesh is a great character. Ferris, I haven't used yet, so I will not comment on. But I guess she could be a good character. And, of course, you have Bart's and Exeth. And Bart's and Exeth both got what their, their five-star, no, their six-star upgrades. Right. Um, which which helps the player base upgrade to the six star meta. You know, it's oh, helping yeah. the free to play players catch up. And so you know, people who had Barcher X Death already, obviously that's another six star unit on their team. X Death being the best mage, but a being bada boom dual cast, you're gonna do a lot of damage with X Death. And then Bars, you know, just right. being okay. But once you get six star, he has that HP, those harder hitting abilities to actually live through a lot of the harder uh, stuff in the game. So that's why. Right. Yeah. No, I think that's what I'm thinking. Like last week's banner was just awesome. Um. The event I thought was actually kind of fun. Uh, you could cheese it if you wanted to, and uh, you could go ahead and go ham on it if you really wanted to. You know. What, what did you do to cheese it? Well, there's the trick. Like if you run straight down the middle, like it was intended, I guess yeah. you would fight a whole bunch more enemies as opposed to if you ran up the right, right. side of the wall. Yeah, yeah. Because you're talking about like skipping the trash mobs in a way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I understand so, that. Yeah. Um, but I hate it is what it is. I, I I'm not I'm not hating. I did it too oh, after no. I got tired yeah. fighting them. So sure, yeah, for sure. There's trash game, mobs. Right? I mean, yeah. there are always ways to uh, skip those in a lot of games, so it's fine. Exactly. Um, yeah. The one thing that shocked me though was what, what, it went up to pro or elite. Which one did it go up to this event? Do you know? Um, I think it went up to. Uh, I want to say elite. I 
think it went elite? to elite. I can okay. check real quick. So whichever one was the highest difficulty, when you fight Gilgamesh on the last time, he starts shooting rockets at you, and it really took me by surprise. <laughs> I was like, why is he shooting rockets at you? Can you explain that? Do you know why he's shooting rockets at you? Um, nah, nah, it can't really, I, no. You have no I don't idea? Know what their plan was, no. I don't know. Like, is know that, is that because he's like a weapon master, he has all kinds of weapons, and he just has a fucking I, rocket launcher or something? I mean, unless they were going off of the stuff from maybe Final Fantasy twelve or something, I honestly can't say why they decided okay. that rockets were a good idea. Gotcha, I wasn't sure if you'd know, because I had no idea. I was just like, why is he shooting rockets at me, dude? But yeah, the event, I know some people struggled with it, but it, it's, it's kind of like a... It was a cool event, but then the last guy, you know, he does he does wind damage, so you can use what was it, a Aora, to, mm -hmm. to you know stock up your boost up your units, and then he's a human, so you could go to town with your, either your COD or an Elza friend, and COD you might have the plant mace at that point to take down Gilgamesh, right? So, I, mm -hmm. I think overall there were way, definitely ways to take him down. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, yeah, no, I mean, I I essentially didn't. I I don't know. I have no clue. I just stomped him and then rolled out. Minus my, he killed he killed Cecil. Sadly, I don't understand how he Cecil. did it. But yeah, he killed Cecil. Oh, so I was kind of mad about that, but yeah. hey, whatever, right? Right. Um. But yeah, I liked the event. I thought it was you know it was kind of a cool little throwback to uh, you know the stuff that happened in the old old Final Fantasies. Um. And uh, the Excalibur I just thought was hilarious. You know, like right, when exactly. he dropped it. Um, I I I think. It was a little excessive to drop so many of them. Like I don't understand why they had them drop it every time you killed them. Right, right. But you got one. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what led to a lot of misconception because it, people were thinking, you know, if I'm getting more than one of these, they they must be used for something. I thought yeah. more or less it should have just been a key item you get one of, and they just laugh at you. But getting more than one kind of made it a little weird, I guess, for people. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It um, is what it is, though. You ended up pulling Gilgamesh, having the 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 miracle, right? The dream. Yes, from the blue dream to indeed. Blue to rainbow, blue to freaking rainbow, man. And then you um, kicked over your green screen and did a backflip. Yeah, right. yeah, stuff like that happened. Nice. <laughs> Never gonna live it down, apparently. That's awesome. That's <laughs> it awesome. is what it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was a great pull. Um, and then you got Gilgamesh. What? Yesterday? Day before? Uh, the day before yesterday. Yeah, the day, day before, before yesterday. Yeah. I did one final eleven pull. I think that was like, I don't know how many it was in the end. I've stopped counting a lot because it's all a mm. blur in the end. But mm -hmm. I finally got him on the last level pool. There was a rainbow inside, and it ended up being Gilgamesh, so I got lucky. Uh, I didn't actually yeah. think I was going to get Gilgamesh, so. That's what the fuck is up, man. I'm, yeah. I'm glad you got him. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, yeah, no problem, man, no problem. Uh, but uh, now, now comparing, I mean, people can still pull Gilgamesh now, since I guess that right. banner is still technically active. So yeah. you still have your chance to get him. Uh, he's just not going to be on the, uh, the half pulls, right? So right, so the half pulls now are the uh, the Final Fantasy Thirteen Snow Saws and Vanilla. Right, and that moves us on to the next section, the current week. But before that, I do want to state that uh, Gummy, I think, or Gumi, Gumi, Gumi uh, was listening to the stream last night, and they hooked me up with a birthday present, and uh, I did a random did ticket pull and got Miyuki. Did, when did you pull? Last night at like an hour before the stream was up. Um, someone was like, you should do a poll, man. You should do one. I was like, ah, fine, I'll do a poll. It better be it better be Miyuki. And I shit you not, it was, she just peeked out, hid behind That's the curtain. That's amazing. I was like, How hyped were you? I was fucking hyped as fuck, dude. There Still it is. Hyped. Yeah. That's cool, man. So I got my first one, man. First one. That's awesome. But, uh, now you can yeah. get that Sakura Fubuki. 31 point, or yeah, 31.2% already, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Did you use, have I, you used any yeah. of the, uh, Three trucks. Oh, you have? Okay, yeah, three. I still have four okay. left. <laughs> I was like, yeah. damn, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Crushing it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, awesome, yeah. Congrats. I guess now we can talk about the, uh, the banner that's up this week that's got a lot of people either super stoked, up in flames. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, the Flame War is probably going to go hardcore on Reddit soon. Um, oh, it's it's already there, man. The oh, okay. community is killing. Uh, they're attacking people. People are just burning shit right down, now. huh? That's yeah, what's they're up. just they're, right. they're burning their FFB jerseys. They're, <laughs> they're tearing down the posters in their house, like fuck Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. So anyway, guys, we'll talk about the 13 banner, and then we'll discuss the event, and then we'll discuss why everyone is hating on Gumi. So yeah. Final Fantasy 13 banner comes out, and it's different than the way it was in JP. We get three characters in Saz, Vanille, and Snow. Um, two being four-star bases, Vanille and Snow. 
and so actually going up to six stars. So he's a four star base going to six star, making him easier to obtain. In quotations, mm. um, right? Saws being the three star unit, and I think the booby prize of the um, the pools here because he does go to five stars. A physical damage unit. He does have full break. So if you're still looking for a full break unit. You can still get size. He can still do that full break for you. But other than that, he's not bringing much to your team. His TM mm -hmm. is 20-sided dice. It's going to give you physical evade and a crit boost. Um, mm -hmm. But farming for a TM that's giving you a chance at something is never as good as farming for a TM that's going to give you fucking Excalibur. So I don't know if I'd ever saw I mean, it's kind of cool because it does give you that crit boost. And something you know, messing around with crit and things like that are always fun in games. But yeah. for the amount of hard work you got to put into it, it just seems not lackluster. Worth. What do you yeah. feel about it? Um, I think, um, I mean, I am one of those people who did not like Saz at all in Final Fantasy. Uh, oh, yeah, you hate Saz. Yeah, like, I, you I hate, hate the Saz. character Saz. Yeah, the character himself. I he's think obviously... His design you know, was shit, um, yep. in my opinion. Um, and then we, we've discussed this on the stream. I'm not going to bring it up again, but I have an issue with his chocobo and his, and his big-ass fro. Um, yeah. But we ain't going to talk about the chicken. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I think this character itself implemented into the game is crap. Um, I don't understand if this dude is so damn talented where he can do trick shots under his legs, why he doesn't have a cool skill called gun mastery. I don't understand why that's yeah. not a thing. You mean like to equip it, like increase his attack by a certain percentage when he's wielding guns? Yes. Yeah, that would be amazing. I don't know amazing. why that's not a thing. I have no clue why that's not a thing. I don't know. You're right. That sounds. I didn't even think of that. That sounds like an amazing thing. Yeah. 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 But either way, so, that's my thing. And I think is. I think the twenty sided die is. Uh, I think twenty sided die is, is is trash for the most part. I mean, the physical evade is kind of cool. Um, right. It is definitely a uh, an upgraded um, an upgraded uh, evade with you know the crit boost on it, but. Uh, I mean, I like evade and all. It's 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 kind of a cool skill, um, but yeah, I'm sorry. I just I can't I can't uh, I just can't get down with Saz at all. I just can't. He he yeah. his character just makes me upset. Um, I don't know. But anyway, moving on to the next one, we got Vanille. Yep. Um, unless you have anything else you want to say about Saz. Nah, I'm good with Saz. That's enough for okay. me. <laughs> all right. So we got Vanille um, coming in at four star base, right? Going up to five star. Yep. That's right. Um, and her TM is an accessory called Magical Crest. Uh, it's got magic plus and magic and thirty. Or I'm sorry, magic and spirit plus thirty percent. Um, cool TM. It's a it's an upgraded yeah. uh, Shantoto. Best in slot. It's yep. the best in slot um, for mages right now. It actually is better than the earrings. Um, okay. Yeah, it's better than the earrings because it goes in accessory. Well, actually, I'm sorry. I didn't. I, I didn't mean Santota. Yeah, because it's an accessory. You meant earrings. What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earrings. You meant earrings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So it's it's an upgrade to the earrings. Um, but we're talking. So the, the, the team is awesome. Obviously, uh, you know, thirty mm percent -hmm. of spirit and magic. That's really good. You could put that on your healers also if you wanted to, yes, giving you, you a boost to your heals, giving you a boost to survivability through magic resist. Um, or you can just slap it on your mage and do even more damage with your mages. The thing about Vanille though is she doesn't have Kuraja. She doesn't go to six star. She just she gets focus and uh, cheer. Though, cheer, yeah, focus cool. and cheer. I thought that was actually interesting that they did that. Um, yeah. But when I noticed there was no Kiraja, I was kind of like, well, about that. I don't think I'm going to use her for anything but TM farming. Like, I mean, yeah, there's that. The the one the, another cool thing about Vanille though is that she has that limit burst that instantly has a chance to KO enemies. Yeah, I mean that's so if you cool. Can somehow buff it up and use it. I mean that's what I'm saying. They're like, I think you have to try to find shining spots in these these units because you can't just always just okay, it's not OP, throw it out the door, right? Because if we did that, we would really hate. There are some banners where we're just gonna like, obviously we're gonna hate on them. So like, I'm trying to look for something in vanilla that might be fun, exciting. If you get her, maybe you want to try it out. And the only thing I can see for her is getting that TM and then using her KO ability in the arena and just rolling, like, rolling the dice and, you know, just for fun. It's obviously not something you want to do. It's not a limit burst you actually want to level up to increase the percentage right. of KO people, but, right. you know, it might just be fun to do. I don't know. I guess. I Honestly, <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll believe it, man. <laughs> I got nothing to say. Like, I like Vanille. Um, I liked her in the game. A lot of people sure. didn't, um, but, uh, you know, her and Fang, they had their little thing going on. That nobody wants to talk about, but we know it was real. <laughs> um, so I got mad respect for Vanille. 
Uh, I just wish that Gumi had respected her um, by giving her Kiraja at least. I don't. Um, yeah, I don't understand that. I don't understand it at all. Like at all. Like well, I understand that Vanille isn't. Like she's a support, right? So she. Yeah. So Kiraja, maybe they're like, ah, oh, we don't need to throw Kiraja on her. But she, she in this game, FFBE. So we have to take out the, what she was in 13. Like, they can use it a little bit. But if you're going to give her, you know, all these cure spells, Asuna, Focus, and, you know, she, they built her like a healer. That's what I think of her when I see her. Now, I know she has Focus and Cheer, she has them both. So you'd be like, nah, she's a support. But, like, no, dude. She has these cure spells. She's going to fill the slot of your healer or you're not going to use her. And she doesn't fill the spot well enough. So, yeah, like you said, she just didn't get to respect Kiraza and move on, I guess. Right, right. I feel you. I feel you. Um... Anyway, I'm not going to talk much more about uh, Vanille because she just makes me, uh, she just, um, her, her character design in this game making me a little, I'm going to be honest, I hate this banner already. <laughs> I really do. I hate this banner. Fuck this banner! Yeah, I do. Um, Snow is kind of cool. He's probably the only saving grace on this side, but he's a five-star cool. character. He's a four-star um, character. Oh, he is a four-star character. Oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck. He's a four still star impossible guy. for me to. Pull, That's right. But... He goes to six star. Four star yeah, goes to so six star. He's cool with going four star, going to six star. So not the worst. Right. Right. That's right. Um. But yeah, I, I think there's some really cool things you can do with him. Um. His oh, yeah. uh, his that weapon you get for him. What is it called? Um. Actually, we'll we'll talk about that when we get down to that. Never mind. Yeah, we'll talk Let's about talk that about, when we get to yeah. the event. Let's talk about the champion's belt. That's his uh. That's his trust mastery. Um. Yep. It's an accessory, defense, yep. and attack plus thirty. So yes. it's almost on par or could be on par. Depends on what you're going for. If you like that plus 30 defense um, on your tanks. With Gafgarian. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, Versus the, the Gafgarian or Lunith. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Um, so it depends on how you want to work this. Um, but sure. his TM's really not that bad, and it's a nice accessory slot. It's, and it's I guess with a cool. four-star base, and you can like, really do something with it. I wanted to bring this up to you, Tech, because it has the Champion's Belt ability on it. And this is going to talk a little bit about Japanese, but this is specifically for Tech. It's increasing your attack and defense by 20% when you have a Fist Weapon also, so that's like a little passive it has on oh, it. Okay. So okay. think about Prish. Yep. Think about your girl Prish with a couple Champion Belts. Or I guess you would only run one, and you'd run a, a Gafgarian TM. But it would make Prish strong, because she's going to use a Fist Weapon, I think. And then yeah, it can push. work really well for Prish in the future. So that's something I think you need. Like, if you get yeah. Snow, you might want to. You might just want to have this ready for when Prish comes out. It's actually not um, a bad idea. Plus, with the Prish, yeah. she's also going to be getting Fist Mastery. So that'd be like double effect. Sure, um, sure. Yeah, you can stack that up on her and make her real strong. And I know you're, you're definitely going to be running her. Oh, so I wanted to give, that, uh, give you an idea on that. Yeah. I ain't going to stop until I get her. I'm pulling like right. crazy with that shit. <laughs> Please go me give it to me on the first 11 pull because I ain't got that much money. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I don't know. Snow. The only thing is, you know, I mean, like he's got some really cool skills. Uh, I think he's an interesting tank. He he's kind of like Amaranth or Amaranth, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, his name. Yeah. Uh, he does the whole, you know, drawing in the attacks. He has like counter to freaking physical, counter to magic, and then he has, I think, eye for an eye, which increases his uh, his countering ability. Right? Yeah, so, so he's he's just nuts when it comes to. He's just countering. If he gets smacked, he's gonna punch you right back in the fucking yeah, face. Dude. I, I yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't play with that shit, homie. <laughs> That's the thing that, like, Snow would be amazing. Like, actually, looking at Snow's kit, he would be amazing. The problem with Snow, he has draw attacks tech, so likely yeah. increased likeness would be entirely about fifty percent. And then he yeah. has all these counters, but his fucking equipment sucks. Like, yeah. as far as being a tank, he can carry a little tiny crappy light shield, and then he can wear hats and cloths, and that's it. Yeah. So he's like, that's... he's a bum when it comes to that. Like That's what I was thinking. If you could get dual wield, I, I know. Uh, never mind. I'll, I'll bring it. I'll talk when we get down there. I'll talk about it. And that's that's okay. where I, I kind of it, it makes me upset that you can only get one of these certain items. Um, yeah. Because if you get two of them, you can make them into a viable tank. I think in my sure. opinion. Because it's not like he gets the the the, pro the only issue I have is like if I pl since I played a lot of FF11 way back in the day, monks mm -hmm. could be tanks in certain conditions. Um. But it was all because they had counter or counter stance or you know countering, um, and they had evasion. They had the second highest evasion in the game, I think, up until Dancer. Yeah, when why doesn't he have out. evasion? Exactly. If he had evade, he'd be so much better. Now sure. I think you, you could also slap that on him. You could slap evade on him, and then if yeah. you really wanted to, you could probably even stack evade with uh, Saz's TM. Oh, and that's then true. you'd have a you'd have a double of age. You could make essentially a blink tank. Um, if if nobody knows what a blink tank is necessarily, uh, a blink tank 
stems off of uh, like uh, back in the day when we had Final Fantasy XI, you had this cool skill called Utsusemi, and it was essentially a skill that created shadow clones that yep. took damage for you. Yes, and, I remember that. Uh, I was a ninja warrior in Final Fantasy XI, yeah. so and it was yeah. beautiful. That's how you. That yeah. was how you you mitigated your damage yourself, blink tanking. Yep. And so if you could set Saz up that way to have a blink tank, it'd be freaking amazing. But unlikely. I don't think Gummies ever played uh, Final Fantasy XI. The thought never even occurred to them. Probably. <laughs> Square Enix has though, right? <laughs> Square Enix um, has, and they were like, "Nah, we so, we don't want that." Yeah, Snow has uh, Area Blast. So yes. that's something too. So you can chain yeah. up a little bit with area blast. He has um, brawl, which if you don't have a, a equipment on him, it's going to increase his attack by fifty percent if he's unarmed. So that can make it, like that's the thing. Like snow could be a physical attacker too. It's kind of mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. um, he has battle roar, where he's going to inflict two thousand damage to himself and increase uh, the attack of everybody by fifty percent. Um, you could use this to just heal him right back up, which doesn't seem that hard to do. So maybe that's okay. Um, he did get his enhancements already, and I think what they did was they lowered down that how much he does damage he does to himself. So in the future, he won't do that much damage to himself. I really mm -hmm. wish they would have like given him evade or something like that. I guess they can't give him attacks though. So, yep. Hey, it's like Not it's like 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 you're thinking like outside the box. Like his limit burst is Sovereign Fist. He's gonna do physical damage, you know, at a, at a pretty high uh, multiplier, and he's gonna ignore the defense about fifty percent to a mm -hmm. boss. Or I, I'm assuming you're going to use this on a boss because it's a single target, so that's where you yeah. want to use it. You could build him like, like yes, he he seems okay. He could be like sick. I, I want to, I definitely want him. Like <laughs> no, 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 yeah, I I would like to play with him personally. I would like yeah. to get him and see if I can build him into something. He may not be the top damage dealer because right. of the the limited gear he has. Even though I think he can equip brave suit, so that's that's a plus for him. That's something sure. Gilgamesh can't do, right? Gil, Gil, right. Gil Greg Greg can only slap on the armor. Um, yeah. So you can really stack this dude up with some attack. Um, the problem is he's not going to serve his purpose anymore as a tank. Um, yeah. But I, I don't know. I didn't like when I played thirteen. I never I, really pictured him as a tank. He was always just a monk to me. He was just beating you know? the shit out of people. So, yeah, that's yeah. that's what I, so, I envisioned him as. He he's the first. Like I'm going to be honest, and you might be able to tell me I'm wrong. You, you give me no example, but he's the first unit in this game that is like a toy box unit. Like, I feel like you could build him several different ways. He could still be good. He won't be that great, but he's still in the top. You know, he's still top. He's like, he's not in the top five or, you know, and in the future, he's definitely not in the top five. But right now, he could fit into a lot of teams and, do, and serve a couple of different purposes. And he's kind of fun to, to mess around with. And yeah. I have a question for you, Tech. If he were to evade an attack, let's say he comes in, it's a physical attack, and he evades it, would counter proc with a 30% still proc? It should. That's it should. what I was thinking, too. So, yeah. man, I don't know. It seems fun. It, seems, it definitely seems fun I, to mess around with and just have fun I with it. I think them. in the arena, even when you miss lightning, yeah. she still counters your ass. Okay. So that, that's perfect. So, that's perfect. Yeah. As long as you have attacked her, she should – or he should still – or if you, as long as you attacked him, he should still counter. But gotcha. anyway, yeah, we're going to – we're now going to talk about the uh, the hanging edge, the event that's up now. Um, you can go okay. ahead and take it off because I, I haven't done the event yet, so – so the event, you're going to be fighting a lot of machines. There's beginner up to elite. Uh, we have all three missions, new missions for all of them that you guys can complete. Um, the rewards you get from it are uh, you get a recipe. Um, you get two recipes and then two crafting materials. So they limit you that you have to, you only get the one crafting material from finishing it. That goes to each of the two uh, recipes. So essentially, they, that's how they limit you to only having one. One being the morale talisman. It's an accessory that gives you attack to plus 10, which is nothing. Like, I wouldn't even worry about that. But maybe you can change my mind, Tech, if you think different. But then you have the Winged Saint, which is the most troll item I've ever seen in a game, or at least this game. They give it an icon, a little sprite, that looks like a jacket, and then it's a fist weapon. So mm -hmm. yeah, they should just put no gloves on it. I don't know. But it gives yeah. you attack 56, defense 44, so pretty good. Could be good on, um, you know, Warrior of Light can equip it, I think, and then Snow obviously can equip it. Yeah. Um, what are your What are your feelings on the two items, Tech? My my feelings on the morale talisman, uh, cool. I mean, we have <laughs> accessories that do better. You know what I mean? Right. Yes. Um. Like what the heck? I I don't know. That's the equivalent of a of a hero's ring, um, in dumbed down version. You know what I mean? For most most characters, that's a hero's ring, without all the bonuses on it. Yeah, um, it gives you auto bravery, but auto bravery doesn't matter. It just gets, it just gets taken it's over. Written. Exactly. And so it's essentially what is that? It's a hyper risk that gives you plus ten attack with hyper auto bravery. Risk, yes. No wait, hold it. It's awful. Yeah, hyper risk. Yeah. This thing's awful. Yeah. Um. 
Then there's the fist weapon, which is a jacket. I'm not, I'm still confused <laughs> as to why they did that. You put the coat on, you got a fist weapon, boy. You hit sure. harder. If you sure. look cooler, you maybe, hit harder. That's how it works in maybe, Final Fantasy. Maybe, maybe they were envisioning it, you know, as you slap on the coat, and then, like, you're just bare knuckles. I maybe, Exactly. Yeah. Maybe. And you, again, if you look cool in Final Fantasy, you do more damage. Apparently that's how yeah, it works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so. Now, my, my, my theory with this one was if you could make two of these, it could be amazing. Because that's plus right. eighty-eight defense, but you can only make one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, only one. Uh, they, yeah. they 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 restrict it by allowing you the one-time clear. Is it requires you know the one-time clear thing? I, I don't know right. which one of the crafting materials, but only one of them. Uh, probably you know, the Urban so. Knight. Um, yeah, probably. But uh, yeah, it's crap in my opinion. It's cool. Um, for certain situations, you could definitely slap this on Cecil. He get a, a nice defense increase. Um. I, th- I think could. I don't think Cecil can equip it. I think only Warrior of Light can. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Did I say Cecil? Yeah, yeah, Warrior, Warrior of Light. Light. My yeah, bad. Yeah. Warrior of okay, Light. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the problem with Wing Saint, for me, and the reason it's weird, is that I think I have to pick it up, just in case later it is useful to me. Because it, it could have its niche uses, where I'd be like, I want to run this. The other problem is they've already given us the Thunder Hammer or whatever that gives us attack and the HP percent for Warrior of Light. Mm-hmm. And, and you know me, but Defense 44 is a hell of a lot tech and more normally your warrior of lights you know he's not really hitting he's using full break he'll do a little bit of damage but his damage is doesn't matter right so like maybe the 44 defense is better than the 15 percent hp but i love my hp and I, I don't know if the 44 defense would have to do the math on that but like yeah. for people out there who are wondering if they should pick this up what do you think tech are you getting oh, obviously you're getting it. i'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it, of course yeah uh, yeah they, you they think, slap you it think out free there free to play players yeah. should get it i think so um, I don't see why not. I mean, yeah. it'll be it, it's you'll get the recipe from the event. Uh, you'll you'll have two weeks now, right, to farm as much as you can. Uh, yeah, and, and talking about that, I, set, mm-hmm. lightning, lightning, Fang, and hope they don't have her boost up right now. Well, obviously they're next those two are in the game, but lightning doesn't yeah. have her boost up. But next week she will have her boost up. So everybody that already has lightning, well at least we think so. That's the mm-hmm. fucking logical thing here, unless give me. And a limb and Square Enix decide to kill us, but like lightning shiver boosts up next week. So possibly, yep. if you don't have any of these units, but you have a lightning, maybe just do other stuff until next week, and then grind hard when you can use your lightning and a friend's lightning and crush the event, right? Right. So that's, <clears throat> yeah, that's that's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, next week she should have her boost up. So I know a lot of people uh, made their way onto my Discord were getting quite upset by the fact that she didn't have her boost up. Yeah. Um, which I, I, I completely understand. She's a 13 character, blah, blah, blah. But they probably wanted to wait until her banner well, that's does what, get yeah. released. I, I would like to read the Brave Frontier bonus, uh, you know, the bonus explanation, and then the um, Final Fantasy 13 one to see if it says banner units get her boost up. If it says Final Fantasy 13 units get a boost up, it's bullshit. She doesn't have her boost up. Yeah, yeah, no. It's if, if, it's, if it's 13, then yes, it is complete horseshit. Um, they... they they should have. Uh, they should have took that into effect. We already have a thirteen character. She should have got her. I mean, in my in my opinion, she should have a fucking boost up right now. Anyway, um, I think it's retarded that they decided. Hey, yeah, we're just not going to hook these thirteen characters up that we already have out there. I'm sure all those people with five lightnings. Yeah, they're fucking pissed, dude. Yeah, what in this shit? One week with five lightnings, you should be able to get what you want from this event. Oh yeah, easy, easy. Um. um but uh, I mean, it is what it is. We'll see. Um, we'll, we can read the past notes a little bit, see what it says. Uh, I just looked over it. It doesn't. It just says these units, at least for the final, fin- the hanging edge, uh, okay. little pamphlet. It says characters who receive bonus will be marked with bonus. That's all it says. Okay. All right. So it doesn't say like one way or the other. Well, we'll see. We'll see next week. Um, yeah. What happens? <clears throat> so anyway, uh, those are the uh, those are the rewards from the event. Um, okay. I uh, <laughs> I think I don't know. I'm I'm never really impressed with all these rewards. Like last week we got what? There was the um that twin lance, which I think is trash. A lot of people like the twin lance. A lot of people do. A yeah. lot of people do. They're in love um, with it. I don't which is fine. It's fun. Yeah, sure. If they if they like it, cool. Um I don't. <clears throat> but uh I do think that we had better event items before. I just don't know what's going on right now. But hey, yeah. the Wing Saint, whatever, man, cool. Uh, yeah. The 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 real thing that I like on this is uh, the stuff that uh, comes out of the um, out of, from the Mog King. The Mog King okay. has the best best thing available. 
100 metal gigantars. I know. That's what it is. <laughs> Always the metal gigantars tag. It's like, that's what everybody wants to get, period. It's like, there are so many tickets in there, right? So it's like, yeah. I can sell it. And most people go for those to try to get the new units. But mo uh, other people are like, I'd say like 80% are just like, oh, I'm getting metal gigantars first. That's what I'm getting. I want them. I want to level up my dudes. So, yeah, that's really good. I thought you actually had me set up there. I was like, ooh. What is he like in there? What is he looking at yeah, that I didn't yeah, see? Yeah. You fucking yeah. trolled me. Um, I did. <laughs> the one thing I'll say about this tech is like, okay, so let's talk about the event. So let's before we get mm. into the rewards, because <clears throat> the rewards go with the event, the drop <sighs> rates for the gears is shit. <clears throat> yeah. It's, it's real bad. On top of I that, heard. there is, like, they don't even say in the event, but there are, you know, remember the Metal Gods? There yes, are Metal, metal Gigantors that show up. <clears throat> kill those, you get a bonus. Okay, so they're like the Metal Gods. I don't you know what, we don't know the drop rate on them or anything yet. What is it? You have to kill them in the first turn or somebody's going to die. Yeah. Yeah, that's why yeah. you would need to use those dark throwing weapons or, you know, yeah. bomb fragments, things like that. But, um... Right. So they have drop rates of that. But the problem is... Oh, and also, this event is super easy. Like, super easy. Because they didn't, they didn't change much about it. And this event came out... We have a lot of good characters coming out before. You know, the time lapses are mixed up. So they're like, yeah, we won't buff it this time like we did um, Maxwell. Or, you know, we didn't really nerf Maxwell. So this time we're not going to buff the Final Fantasy XIII event. Because I went in there, used my breaking ability with Elza, and one-shot the last boss with one ability. Right. Yeah, I just used I used my – obviously, my team's really strong. But I used my Lunath and one-shot the boss. I couldn't even believe he died so fast. But so the event itself isn't too hard. You guys can get it. Machine Killer is cool here from uh, – from Edgar. If you guys can get a machine killer, put it on. They're all machines. It'll do more damage. But what Gumi did, instead of buffing up this event to make it harder, was they increased everything that was for sale in the Mog, uh, the Mog King rewards by a fuck ton. So it cost oh, way more yeah. gears. Yeah. So like at first, I was like defending Gumi. I was like, ah, guys, calm down. Like This is the way it's been. Like rem like Remember Gumi and they did the Halloween event and everybody loved it? Well, Gumi's the one that made that. It wasn't a limb. It wasn't well, Square Enix working Gumi, but like they made that event. So like let's give them time to make more events. Maybe like Christmas event will be awesome. And then I look and my boy Wrist is like, click, read this post. And it's like everything in the Japanese part of the game costs like a way less than the stuff we have to pay for now. So that's oh, okay. like bullshit in my opinion. That's This is like the one time where I'll be like, yeah, that's fucked up. That's for sure yeah. fucked up. Yeah, that, that is fucked up. I, I ain't gonna lie. Um, I saw the prices. And I was like, oh, these aren't that bad. And then I saw what people were saying they were getting as their, yeah, uh, yeah the the farm items. The I was like, oh yeah. my god, this is bad. This is yeah. this is bad. Um, I ain't gonna even try to defend Gummy on this one. Like, this was this is fucked. But I'm, next week you should be okay. Gummy. Yeah, next week we should be able to be okay with the lightning and stuff, but, uh, you know, it might, it, like, obviously, I don't think they buffed up, like, how much a, uh, uh, Trust Moogle or Metal Gigantoir or something mm, to yeah. Star Wars cost. I think they buffed up how much the individual things, like the materia and possibly the weapons, because there are weapons in their tech that yeah. are, um, exclusive to the, uh, event and exclusive to characters. Right. So, um... We can go over those shit. real quick if you want. I think they're all shit. What do you think? I mean, let's see, the gun... Yeah, I the thought gun it was is, crap. The reason it's bad is because it goes to Saz and it doesn't do anything for him. It doesn't have, Pretty like, much. mega attack or anything. It gives him fire and ice abilities, and he's still bad. So it's like, the gun doesn't make him not bad, right? So it's yep. like, why would you why would you waste your gears on the gun? And then we yep. move on to the spear that's for Fang only, and that right there is a giving tell that Fang's coming on the next banner, because what the hell oh, would yeah. they sell that to you and not give it to <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, uh, the only thing I like about that spear is the fact that it has the wind element on it. It's a new, it's another elemental weapon. Um, which is cool for later on down the road in sure, case you need sure. to do chaining and shit. The only uh -huh. thing I like about it, besides that, it is it, it doesn't even come with anything besides the wind element. Well, the problem it's, is, oh, I'm sorry, an arrow blitz. It has arrow blitz, right? Right. And but the problem is, tech, you have to run Fang on your team to use that weapon. I know. So what if you don't like Fang, or what if Fang doesn't fit in your team and Fang True sucks enough. or whatever? You know, like. True enough. I'm then not gonna say if Fang sucks now or then because I haven't done too much research into it. But what do you think you know, about the staff, man? The, st the staff is good. Okay. The staff is good, but you're putting that staff on a healer that doesn't have Kiraja. It has a yeah. bunch of spirits to help your healing and defense, and it doesn't have Kiraja, so why the hell would you buy the staff, too? It seems yeah. like you're not buying any of these. Any of them. So it's like, the, that's why I think the event is bad. Like, I don't think the event is bad. If you got to grind your ass off, I'm sorry, guys, if you hate doing that. It's a Final Fantasy game. Even if the drop rates are fucking poor, you got two weeks. 
I think he can get there. And yeah, you're gonna have to grind off, and that sucks if you guys hate it. But for me, I love grindy stuff, so I'm gonna grind it. I love getting level yeah. 99. Like it's fine. But what sucks is you're grinding for nothing. You're grinding for Metal Gigantoirs and event tickets and Star Force. And that's all good and jolly. But you know, events are supposed to be hype. They're supposed to be like, oh, you want this item? But all the items fucking blow too, and they're all way too yep. expensive. Yep. So pretty much man. trash. Yeah, I mean, even yeah, the items suck. The materials, <sighs> like. Why? I mean, the lightning materia <laughs> is like do damage, lightning damage to all enemies and reduce their lightning resist by 50%. So, okay, that is useful when you have a team well, of lightning. It's, I, I, unless the, is the modifier for that skill physical damage? Because if it's not physical damage, it's not. Because it says it's, it's, not. it's magic, magic damage. It's magic which means damage. it's useless. Well, the only way I can say it's, it's useful. Fucking useless. Is you use lightning magic damage 2.1 times multiplier, reduce the lightning resist 50% to all enemies, so everybody has 50% lightning resist down, and they just chain the shit out of them with mages. But at the same time, yes. where where are you farming? Like it, most bosses are one boss, right? Most yeah. bosses you're gonna fight where you're gonna want to like, you know, it's gonna be hard. You're gonna fight all these trash mobs up to the one boss, and the one boss is gonna be hard. Like lowering his lightning resist by 50% and wasting a turn to do so to chain. I don't know. I mean, could also done maybe, that with crushing blow. Right. Well, how much, well, crushing blow lowers it by what? Probably not as high as that, but you can still rock it with fucking. Uh, you sure. can still do your 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 freaking full breaks and all that other stuff, 20%. and that that stacks it. You know what I mean? Yeah. The lightning yeah. resist goes down, and then the physical resist goes down. So you just made that skill stronger. Why would yeah. you use her damn material? Yeah, it doesn't seem. Plus, you, yeah. plus you'd have you to slap on. You 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 use yeah, up a slot, man. The material slot. What the hell? Why would you ever buy this thing? It's so awful. Did you see you could buy two of these? You can yeah. literally buy two of them. What for? Why? So you can dual what cast them. What like, what the, no, no, and what I they think they it's an ability, it? right? Like that because you can equip the two does nothing for you. They're like, oh yeah. I wanted to go full screen right there. Oh yeah, look at me, I'm Goomy, and you should totally buy two of these for your two fucking lightning you probably don't have. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Where, where was my two Elza? Where was my two Elza attack twenty percent? Yeah, you, I mean, what do you give me two Thunderfall for? I don't know. I don't know, man. Unless I mean, unless they're trying to make lightning into a uh, an assisting enemy or assisting character, you know, where she's now a support instead of um, a, a straight damage dealer uh, by by helping the mages um, cast chained freaking thundagas it's useless it's absolutely useless it does nothing for anybody if it reduces all enemies on the screen um because most of the stuff that you're going to be kicking ass on is trash and if trash is kicking your ass you need to go level yourself up that's what I feel exactly man unless unless there's a boss we don't know about in the future that's going to be like five goblins and they're really tough, and it would be awesome to take their lightning resist by 50% down and just chain the shit out of them. This item is useless, and getting two Absolutely. of them is way useless. I would rather have Absolutely. an attack 20%, um, you know, attack 10%, HP 15%, anything on my lightning to make her stronger, rather than just having an ability that would be most of the time useless. That's how I feel. But anyway, then then the, the, the then you have your your, your plethora of, of attack plus 10s and defense 10% things. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man! I I can I can craft these things. I can, can craft, craft these things. Thing. You can craft them. You can get a recipe. Like, why? And craft them forever. Yeah, why would I? Why would I waste currency on this nonsense? I don't know. They they even have one up top where they're like, "Hey guys, check it out. Uh, you can get attack and magic ten percent." For Final Fantasy characters only, and Final Fantasy <laughs> thirteen characters only, and it's totally cool. It's like, no, it's not. Yeah. No. <laughs> No. No, I want the, oh, no, this is what they want you to do, Tech. They want you to buy three of those, buy one lightning fall, throw it on your uh, lightning, because there you go. Now you have three attack 10% and your magic's up by 30%, and cast lightning fall or whatever the hell it's called. Boom. Yeah. Figured it out. That's the master plan. That's how it works. It's... We did it. We did it, yeah. <laughs> I don't, well, I don't, the story, don't, don't buy it. anything from this event, but the freaking yeah, I mean, normal items. Um, unless you were uh, a weirdo like myself who does, who has to have everything, even though I definitely boycotted that magic plus fifteen percent from the last event. Oh, I did too. Fuck I that. boycotted <laughs> the fuck out of that man. I bought everything yeah. I could around it, and then more. You know, what I mean, um, yeah. There's nothing on this list besides the Charles Moguls, and I'd say the, um, yeah, the Trust Moguls and the Consumables that are that in the Awakening Mass, of course, that are worth purchasing sure, yeah, on yeah. this shit. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So the and, thing and is, know, like, if you need Awakening any, Mass, you can buy them up. Exactly, and in case anybody thinks I'm missing out on the metal gigantars, 
Metal Gigantars to me are consumables because you're going to consume those bitches right after you buy them, right? They're going yeah. into somebody. So, anyway, yeah, they're gone. Um, but really, there's nothing on here that's worth using. Like that, that here you go material, or here we go material. Oh my god, sounds, so bad. sounds cool. Sounds <laughs> cool. Yeah, right. If you don't here have somebody who can buff that shit already, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're getting 10% more? 10% more on those stats over our focus and. I think Doesn't Embolden do 50%? Yeah, Embolden gives you the 50% defense. It's just Focus gives you the 40% SPR. So mm -hmm. why the hell would you even? It, it's impossible. Like this event is impossible to even. Like you know me, Tech. I like to spin things. I like, to be like, hey guys, this is gonna be fun. It's still fun though. Like the thing is, it's still fun to farm the event. It's a new event. You're gonna be able to farm it for a little bit. You'll get a little frustrated at how long it takes. But guys, just focus on your. You know, you're getting you're getting so many tickets. You don't have to spin them now. Noctis might be coming in a couple of weeks. Spin it on Noctis. Um, you know, get your star quartz for a couple of good items coming out in the future, or you haven't got your earrings yet, or you know, need that. You know, get them star quartz. Get them uh, elixirs. Maybe you guys want those things like that. That's cool, right? Right. You're you're given a way to get a lot of cool items by grinding, which is cool. Mm. But other than that, like the swag <laughs> part of this this event is shit. It's all shit. Yep. Pretty much. There's. <sighs> Let's move on to the arena. Um, right, cool. <laughs> I'm I'm done. Like this event just has me. I'm slightly slightly tilted about this event. Slightly. All right. Um, the arena that was beautiful. So right now we have the new arena. The new arena week has started. I don't know. I thought I thought I saw you playing some. Um, yeah, so you'll have to tell me what the physical attack combo thing is. That is that barrage. Is there no it's barrage? barrage this week? It's madness rush. It's oh my god. It's like a multiplier. Like that's gonna do multiple attacks. So again, they cuck the shit out of uh, Elza. Because what she do is Lance. Like, she can Lance, that's it. She can't use her Madness Rush. So at this point, I'm like, please stop messing with my girl Elza. I want to use her in Arena. Please. Does that that also... It's pretty much... I don't, that just killed my entire team for the most part. Like, does that conclude... Now, hit all is technically a single target attack, right? Yes. Like, it's a single thing. What, 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 about, uh, what about Area Blast? Uh, area Blast still works too, yes. Okay, cool. Um, so I can still chain then. That's good. There's no black magic. Um, right, so X Death's out the question. So everybody yeah. is using X Death and dual magic casting. You can still Fuck click. That. I actually went in there and clicked dual black magic cast, but it won't let you click anything. I was like, no. So I leveled up my X Death. I was like, here we go. Let's see the power of double meteor. And it's like, yeah, nah, yeah. No, you don't, bro. Not for no. a week, you don't get to do that. I'm like, okay, cool. And that makes awesome. me happy. Yeah. That makes me happy. Um, let's see my. Let's see what's going on here. Decline. Right, cool. Um, all right, so anyway, sorry. Uh, you know, birthday, people are calling all the time. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's fine. Yes. Um, so, uh... Well, fucking, you have something um, about the arena we have to talk about, Zach. Yes, the arena. So there was this cool thing called Arena Gate. That's what everybody's calling it yeah, now. Yeah, they're calling it Arena you know, anytime, Gate. Yep. Anytime there's a conspiracy anywhere, it's always something gate, right? Yeah, um, exactly. So we had Arena Gate. Yesterday... Yesterday we had an incident. Early, early, um, early time in the morning, sometime. Uh, Gummy fucked up. They fucked up. Gummy fucked up bad. They messed and, up bad. <laughs> yeah, they did. Bad. He, really bad. And there was a small portion, probably a huge portion. I didn't actually didn't get into it um, when really it first know. when it first came down. Yeah. Um, I heard about it at the end of it, and then they're like, "Oh, it just got fixed." I was like, "Hmm." But apparently this is what happened. Um, people were in the arena, and instead of waiting one hour for your one orb to come back, that shit was refreshing like every ten seconds. And, yeah, it was like immediate. So you could just yeah. keep doing as much Here you go. as you want to. <laughs> just all the way to the top, I'm going, baby. So the people who were sleeping, weren't playing the game, had no idea. People who actually didn't want to exploit the game, which at some point, like, the problem with not exploiting the game here, Tech, is that you actually can't play the game. You yeah. actually can't do arena if you don't exploit it, so they can't ban people for it. I don't think. Nah. Because nah, like it would be different if you like an exploit for me would be like oh if you run arena and then hit back really quick twice all your arena orbs came back right that's yep. an exploit. They're actually playing the game and it just giving you arena orbs that's on Gumi. Like nobody can get banned for that. No one. And if they do, they have no right to. It's you're not breaking terms of service at all. So, yep. um, I couldn't. I couldn't. I, I don't know. I was joking around saying I'm gonna kill all the cheaters, but obviously they weren't cheating. They were just playing the game. No, they were just um, exploiting the game. They were playing. I mean, yeah. unfortunately, once the once one person exploits, that pretty much says everyone else is gonna have to do it too. If you want to stay competitive, you're gonna have to do it. And if you were asleep, sucks to be you, kind of like yeah. me. Um, yeah. but people did it, and uh, some people lost 
a lot of thousands of ranks during that time period because people went fucking nuts. Oh yeah. And yeah. then on top of that, there are people who when the when the monthly reroll happened, they were like, Cool, now I'm gonna spend all my lapis and I'm gonna yeah. go to the top and I'm gonna keep my spot there, right? So there are whales or dolphins or players. They just like, yeah. Ooh, I'll get my spot at the top of monthly right now, I'll grind really hard to reset, it's fun again, because you know it's all fresh. I'm gonna grind and then arena gate happens, they lose all that. And then everybody's like, well, you have to do a, a, a reset, right? So you have to roll back the servers to the maintenance. And Gumi's like, nah, we're not doing that. No, what we're going to do is just reset the rankings and give you guys the weekly rewards that you would have gotten, you know, as a compensation. The problem is these people who spent thousands of lapis to get their spot up got nothing. Like, yep. th those arena rewards, in my opinion, did nothing for those people. It, because now know, but Arena Gate back. wasn't over. <laughs> what else happened, Tech? Well, last night while I was on stream, Arena Gate Part 2 happened. Part what is Arena Gate Part 2? Okay. So Part 2 was um, last night, um, after the reset, apparently, um, or after the reset was supposed to happen, I guess they, they maybe they left some code in there and it fucked it all up, but we started getting <laughs> Lapis, re like every time you beat the arena, you got yeah. 20 Lapis. Every fucking time you did it. What? <laughs> every time. Dude, I was doing it for like an hour and a half, got 20 <sighs> Lapis every time I killed him. I didn't, I, I was still spending my own Lapis to do it. But no yeah. shit, instead of having unlimited orbs, you just had unlimited refreshes now. So, so what how does that every, happen? Every, every, five, every five matches, you would get 100 lapis. So that's, that's essentially insane. a whole another five lap or a whole, a whole new set of five orbs. So no I shit. I didn't even know that. Yeah, that, that shit happened thing, last night. A different way, a different bug. Yeah, just a different happy, a different bug, same thing. What the hell? So you just kept killing, you got lapis, and then you went back in, you kept killing. Like, no shit. That's how it happened. So that's why they reset everything today, instead of uh, instead of what they were going to do probably, which was a lot of nothing really. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, once they realized it, because I I think I was playing and um, I had, like I said I was still using my hundred my hundred lapis um, refreshes myself and but I still I had stacked up like thirty seven freaking twenty lapises just chilling in there. And uh, I was like, all right, cool. And then all of a sudden it said Star Quartz. I was like, I guess the bug's over. Um, they must have finally realized they fucked up again. But yes, that was a Renegade Part Two. Okay. It, it only lasted. Yeah. Yeah. Told yeah, me. That, yeah. That shit happened. They. I don't know what the hell they were doing, man. I, it must have been those damn interns again. They're like, hey guys, you want to let me yeah, see you hey, guys we'll do some coding? You guys take a nap. You guys take <laughs> yeah. a nap. We got it. <laughs> nope. Um. Oh, yeah. Man. So. So Renegade 2 happens, had no idea that happened, so that's funny. Yeah. And then they just do yeah. a re-roll, they just reset the rankings. And again, the problem with this is there are people out there that are like, cool, I'm going to spend like 2,000 lapis, get myself to the top, and sip, Bahama, sip on some Bahama Mamas on the beach, and not worry about Arena. And then they're like, cool, actually, here's a couple of tough pots and some summoning tickets as compensation. All of your 2,000 mm -hmm. lapis is gone now. So it's like, I can understand why those people are mad. So we have the shit, we have the shit uh, event. Which I think is mm -hmm. kind of shit. Like it's not that bad. People are like, I'm mad at it for the wrong reasons. It's not shit mm -hmm. because of the grinding. It's shit because the, all everything you can buy is garbage. And then mm -hmm. you have a kind of a crappy banner. Most people aren't gonna want snow. And then you know, the other two suck. So there's not much hype around that. And then you have mm -hmm. Arena Gate, where people, where Gumi literally knocked people out of money who were wells. They angered their wells. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, like I, I, I was, I was okay with what happened because, um, I missed the first part of Arena Gate. Missed it entirely. And then I was there for the second part when it started. And so I was playing. I was like, oh, this is unlimited refreshes. I'm just going to keep on pushing then. I'll catch oh, sure. up because these other guys should be asleep or at work or something. So I just kept on pushing. I didn't. I, I used my lapis like I was supposed to. I was going to see if they were going to delete anything that was given to you. But they didn't. Um, so I collected all that shit. <laughs> so fuck it. Getting my lapis yeah, back. Yeah, but, yeah, um. <sighs> gummy, I swear. You're killing me, guys. Killing me. I don't know. I don't know what their plan is here ever. Um, anyway, but that's um that's pretty much all of uh, all of this stuff, right? Let me see yeah, what else we got here. Stuff. Yeah, that's yeah, that's everything. Um, now, since you obviously won this banner call, um, since Type Zero didn't happen, which I'm starting to think that we should have had Type Zero uh, compared to what we have right now. Uh, but uh, yeah. So you want some banner <laughs> speculation from me? Yeah, let, let's see what your banner speculation is now. All right, let me look at the calendar because it's going to be important here. Next week, right. next Friday, we'll have Lightning, Hope, and Fang. And you can agree right. on this, yes? Yes, I agree on that one. So next Friday is Lightning, Hope, and Fang. I think on the 16th, whew, it's going to be Noctis. 
Noctis, Noctis? comes the 16th. I'm actually going to agree with you on that one. I'm oh, truly hoping that really? shit happens. Okay. Yes. Um, okay. If it's not Noctis, I'm actually okay. thinking that see, that that will begin the banner for Christmas. So you, oh, there could be a Christmas special. Yeah, because they did say that Global had a lot of special surprises um, for Christmas. There could be a Christmas banner, like you said, yeah. But the Christmas mm -hmm. banner, I think, would be like Noctis. This is what I think. I think the Christmas banner, this could be the banner. It could be Noctis and mm -hmm. then two special... Have we seen the Japanese banner for, for Noctis yet? Slutty Santa Fina? No. <laughs> no? Not, not Slutty Santa Fina? I mean, it could be. S but maybe, Slutty but I, Santa F Lid? Do you think Japan will have a will have a, a Christmas event? Um, they will, right? Japan celebrates. I don't think. Yeah, Christmas. they they celebrate Christmas. Yeah, I don't think they would. So maybe okay. So maybe the banner will be um, Noctis and then two story characters, possibly Nicole and maybe Mercedes is on the banner. Who knows? Christmas related, and then yeah. we that that is the that is the first global Japan banner that will be the same. And then the way they they make sure Noctis there are two there are two ways Noctis isn't good for us as it is in Japan. One, they keep him at five star for us. He's a five star base. We can't make him six star for a while. Sucks. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. The next one is he goes five star to six star, and then he has an enhancement which blows him up real big for Japan. So that way global doesn't have the power creep too high, and then Japan obviously, you know, they can have their power creep with their enhancements. So right, right. Well, I mean, I'm hoping what you just said is probably. I hope it's true. I, I really hope that Noctis does come um, after the Lightning Banner. Um, I just have this feeling that they're not going to do it until after New Year's. I have this feeling. The Noctis? I don't know why. Yeah. I have it's a feeling. It's impossible, though, I think. It's, it, it, it's should it should well, be impossible. It should be. Well, they said it would be out in December. Confirmed. All right. Well, if it's what confirmed, the then, yeah, well, it should be the 16th. Then. Well, the yeah. thing is, did you remember the AMA... For the Gumi guy, it was like sometimes Square Enix literally cuts the plug and decides the day of the banner release and release yeah. something else. Because obviously yeah. they have like you know they had like five and thirteen. They had all this stuff lined up for months. Like obviously they this, had they, they had seven ahead, released like, or lined up, man. What is it? According to the AMA, they had a, a seven character that was lined up for freaking right, years. Right, right, exactly. And then the, and the Gumi pulled the plug on it, or not Gumi, excuse yeah. me, Square Enix. So Square Enix. Yeah, they have a lot of things planned ahead of time, and like they might be like, yeah, this is confirmed. We're totally doing this. And Square Enix is like, nah. No, you're not. So that's a yeah. possibility. Um, we'll I don't see. know, dude. Yeah. I'm hoping Noctis does come out because I would definitely like to uh, um, play with the uh, the Prince of uh, whatever the hell that damn place is called. Insomnia? Is it yeah. Insomnia? Yeah, so I, think so. Uh, I think so too. Even if Niflheim is. Anyway, um, yeah, so we'll see. I'm hoping, in, I'm, I'm with you on this one. If we, if we both win, cool. Um,. If not, I don't know what the hell they're going to do. I have no clue what they're going to do. Find out. Yeah. Uh, so, we're actually going to have a little small special thing. Since uh, a big event happened, since we're already talking about freaking Noctis. Uh, yeah. Final Fantasy XV came out last Tuesday. That was at your dog? Yeah, it was. Sorry. Uh, that's cool. That's something. cool. I said Final Fantasy XV. It makes sense, man. Yeah, he's fine. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um but uh yeah final fantasy 15 just came out so uh we can do a quick review if you want spoiler free of course um, okay. um what do you think about the game homie? i am not far in the game so i okay. have played up to chapter one going into chapter okay. two haven't got to mm -hmm. play much of it how far are you in the game i'm also in chapter two doing hunts okay, cool. so we're we're both yeah doing hunts so like here is what i like about it and here's what i don't like about it the graphics are amazing the gameplay yes, is fun uh -huh. I hate open world games, and it's actually making me like open world game a little bit. Um, okay. It's making me enjoy it. I love that, like, you click on a quest and it tells you where to go. And that might be like, people might be like, oh, that's stupid. You should have to do it yourself. But, like, for me, nah, I ain't all about that. That's all about mm -hmm. I, I play video games mostly for the story. I, like, I love the challenge and I love playing, but, like, if I'm playing a game that has a good story, that's what I want to do. And this game right. has stopped me from progressing the story because the other stuff is cool. Yeah. Um, uh, some of the issues I have with it one, the story is like, nothing has happened so far early on it was like mm -hmm. no spoilers but like i haven't seen much of anything happen yet at all and we just got mm -hmm. to the game there should be something that pulls me in when it first starts and nothing uh right. two um when you try to pick up an item it's the same button as jump so you literally just jump around on top of the item while you're trying to pick it up the controls yes. are a little weird that, that is actually my up. biggest gripe right there my truly yeah. biggest gripe is trying to pick an item up and i jump forever 
<laughs> instead of picking yeah. up the item. I've watched numerous streamers do this too. Um, just try to pick this this damn metal scrap up off the floor, or yeah. or whatever coin they're trying to get, and they jump, and they jump, and they jump. Even though I did some, I did see some <laughs> funny fails from later on down the game when when it comes to like. Never mind. I'm gonna ruin anything. No, I'm not even gonna say yeah. anything. There's just yeah, some really cool, cool fails. Um, sure. But overall, what's your what's your your your? Well, actually, let me let me say, my gripe. Um, besides that, I, and as you said, I think the game looks freaking phenomenal. It's it is beautiful. Um, even if I don't like the fishing in the game, staring out into the ocean or bay or whatever the hell that damn thing is while trying to pick That's up some fish, like it looks lovely. Yeah, it's because it the fish stared at me and, and didn't want to come in. Right now, I love fishing. Oh, I can't stand it. Can't stand it. I like maybe it'll get better. Go to bed, camp out, level up my fishing. I'm like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, <laughs> but this is my my other gripe that I have, and I know I know I'm a big Final Fantasy um, fanatic. I really love yeah. everything Final Fantasy, okay. um, even if I am not going back and playing some of the older ones. I, I'm just too lazy to do that. Uh, but when the game comes up, it was for like they, there was a message that, that they displayed for like new and 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 old or veteran Final Fantasy players. Like this is a game for Very them, right? Beginning. Yep. So I'm assuming newer people did not get down and try um, and watch like Brotherhood animes. Like there are a lot of people out there who just don't like anime, um, right. so that so they, they, they didn't, didn't get down on it. those. Um, there are some yep. people who probably didn't want to spend the money to get Kingsglaive, you know, exactly. or even waste the time to bootleg Kingsglaive. Um, which I do think is a fucking mistake. If you're out yeah, there and like, you haven't honestly, seen Brotherhood or Kingsglaive, you need to go fucking watch yeah, that shit. You, you do. Like now. Like, when you start up Brother, uh, when you start up Kingsglaive, um, I will tell you this, it starts kind of slow. And at first I was like, okay, now, because it got bad ratings. Tech. I don't even know why. I, don't I, don't, I thought it was a good movie. So, it like, it got movie. bad ratings. But the beginning of the thing, I was like, uh-oh, this bad ratings are true. And maybe Tech was just fanboying it a little bit when you told me you liked it. And then it got phenomenal. So yeah. just give it a chance if you do want I'd to say watch, after like the first 30 it. minutes, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then once you get into the halfway mark, you're like, oh my God, what the hell is going on here? It's just yep. it the only thing I thought was wrong with Kingslave was the uh the story arc uh, at the end where like old boy is missing and you're like, Does nobody care by why well like, nobody can get a hold of this dude? And then you find out at the end of the movie, you know what I mean? You're like Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This this is why, but nobody questioned it. You know, what I mean, it was kind of weird yeah. for me. But that that in itself is whatever. My biggest problem is a lot of people haven't watched that movie. A lot of people haven't right. played or watched those animes, and right. they added some stuff into the game that involves Kingsglaive, and probably they're going to reference some stuff from the anime. And it just from what they did from the transition between chap chapter one and chapter two. I did not feel comfortable with what they did, and I've seen the movies. You know what I mean? Right. And maybe See, I was looking at it from a different point of view. There was a huge day one patch, like we talked about, where they yeah. was like seven or nine gigabytes. I can't remember how many. And what that was doing, it was adding cutscenes from the movie in there to try to explain the story better. And the problem mm -hmm. I have with that, like you said, it did. I mean, I haven't even experienced it. You said it's just straight up cutscenes. No, no, no fade in. No, like oh, no. I remember this. No time explanation. It literally yeah. just like a no explanation. It just goes straight to a cutscene that ends. Yeah. So you just like watch a, a clip of a movie and they move on. And yeah. the problem I have is, like, at the beginning of, like, if you don't watch Brotherhood, you don't know these characters very well. You don't. Because immediately you just start, and they're laughing, and then their car breaks down, and you start pushing your car. That's how it starts out, right? So, mm -hmm. you don't know, like, who's Noctis? Who, who's Prompto? What, who are these guys to you? You know, yeah. and, 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 I, 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 and then they immediately throw you in an open world. They're like, here, exactly. go do hunts. Go go collect items, go collect treasure chests, or do the main story. But the main story is, like, fix your car. Like, it's like, it should have been, like, more they, they should Learn have the characters, characters more. explain the right. characters and they did it exactly. and obviously it gets obviously we haven't played enough so I'm, I'm not reckoning yeah. I love Final Fantasy 15 so don't get me oh, wrong yeah, me too, I'm me just too. saying that like for especially like you said where it's like new Final Fantasy lovers and, and, and non Final Fantasy lovers alike or new players to the game they needed to explain it better and not expect you to watch Brotherhood because Brotherhood yeah. just explains the relationship between Noctis and each of his brothers you know each of his friends um, individually that's what the episodes are so mm -hmm. Without that background, man, you're not going to feel the same about these characters. And yeah. I know they try to make it cool. Like, look at all these different media. Hype up Final Fantasy 15. But there there might even be people who are like, I'm not watching anything Final Fantasy 15 because I don't want spoilers. I'm not watching yeah. Brotherhood. I'm I know plenty of people did that. Yeah. And then you got fucked because you didn't see that stuff. So Yeah. And and I think, you know, this is this is what I really... 
I don't understand how they're falling trapped or falling prey to the, like their own. I'm not gonna say stupidity. It's just like their own creativity is fucking them. Um, yeah. Like Final Fantasy 13, a lot of people didn't like that game, and a lot yep. of people didn't like a lot of the stuff that went on in the future games. But overall, the story was amazing. If you take it all the way from 13 to 13 3 or Lightning Returns, like when you take the full story, you really think about everything that had actually transpired. They there was character progression, even if some of the characters were just upsetting. Um, yeah. But that you know, like they spent the entire first section of the game, even if it was linear, explaining lightning, explaining hope, explaining snow. They explained everything. And in, in 15, you're just kind of expected to know these things. You know what I mean? Even if you do do the tutorial with the lore and all this other stuff, you're really just expected to know what the hell is going on. How many people do you know that want to sit through a lore tutorial? I literally didn't even know what was going on, and I watched everything. You had to explain it to me, because I assumed this was the the beginning of the story started after king's glaive like mm -hmm. that's what you would take it if you watch the movie i was like mm -hmm. cool now we're getting into 15 because because of the end of king's glaive which isn't a spoiler because i'm not spoiling anything it's just like an end credit scene that doesn't it, it's it's the isn't it the opening of final fantasy 15 no after credits it's just a push in the car i i oh, yes. they're riding in the car yes so we, yes so they're riding in the car and you get into 15 that's me right so i'm following their progression yes. Watch Brotherhood. Watch Kingsglaive. Now play 15. And it's like, okay, cool. Now they're pushing the car. That happens after credits with 15. It's the only time you see Noctis. And yes. it's not after Kingsglaive. It's it's like in the middle somewhere. Like, I don't know. Obviously, we don't want to spoil anything. But I was very confused as to what was going on, honestly, yes. at the beginning of the I'm, and, and it makes sense that you'd be confused.